Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick of Coaster Fanatics, and today I'm bringing you my list of the top roller coasters at Kentucky Kingdom. This is a growing park that has five roller coasters. In this video, I will rank them from worst to best. So, sitting in the number five spot, by default, I have Roller Skater, the Vacoma Family Coaster. I didn't ride this coaster, but it did look pretty cool. The trains actually look like roller skates. Next in the number four spot, I have T3, the Vacoma Suspended Looping Coaster. A lot of enthusiasts talk really bad about Vacoma SLCs, but they are pretty good in my opinion. They aren't as good as a B&M invert, but still pretty good. T3 was refurbished in 2015. It received track work as well as new restraints. I felt it was pretty smooth and it was a thrilling ride throughout. At the end of the day though, it is still just an SLC with all the typical SLC elements, which is why it ranks so low on this list. Sitting in the number 3 spot, I have Thunder Run, the wood coaster made by the Din Corporation. This is actually a very underrated coaster in my opinion, you guys. It's a pretty intense ride that features several high-speed bank turns and several airtime hills. It feels almost GCI-like. In fact, Rocky Mountain Construction retracted this coaster for the 2014 season, which is why it feels so smooth. This is the only real wood coaster at Kentucky Kingdom, and I highly recommend riding it. Now for our top two. Next in the number two spot, I have Lightning Run, the Chance Ride Hyper GTX Coaster. Lightning Run is the only Hyper GTX model ever built so far. It's a very unique ride, you guys. It's very compact, but it packs a punch in its short ride. It gives tons of airtime and has a twister layout that takes you all over the place. Towards the end, it has some high-speed turns that are almost Maverick-like, followed by a triple down that is packed with airtime before you reach the station. All in all, it's a fun coaster that just about anybody can ride. As good as Lightning Run is, it isn't quite as good as my number one, and that's Storm Chaser. The RMC iBox Coaster. This coaster used to be a dueling coaster called Twisted Twins. Rocky Mountain Construction converted it to iBox Track in 2016, and it was a big hit. This is a great coaster, you guys. It has a very unique barrel roll drop, and like Lightning Run, is packed with airtime. Storm Chaser was actually the first RMC I ever rode. In fact, it broke down twice before I finally got to ride it. But it was all worth it. Since Six Flags abandoned Kentucky Kingdom, this park has gone through a few different owners and transitions. Now they have converted this coaster to Storm Chaser, it really looks like this park is on the right track. I look forward to seeing what other improvements and additions this park makes in the future. So there you go, you guys. That was my list of the top roller coasters at Kentucky Kingdom. Did I get this list right? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section and share your Kentucky Kingdom roller coaster list. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you're new around here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you all on the next video very, very soon.